Welcome to Nexus Medical Media. In this video, we are going to talk about vitamin E. It's one of the fat-soluble vitamins. Do you remember the fat-soluble vitamins? Vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Right, so we already covered uh, other vitamins, other fat-soluble vitamins, and almost all the water-soluble vitamins were only left with one cyanocobalamin b12 we covered everything so check out the playlist and watch all the videos i have prepared uh, concerning these important uh, elements called vitamins right so vitamin e uh, another name is called tocophero right so it's a form it includes tocophero and uh, tocotrienol all right so vitamin e is an antioxidant it protects the red blood cells and membranes from free radical damage leading to bursting, right? So vitamin E is very important. Uh, and also another study shows that um, people with Alzheimer's disease have low uh, vitamin E, right? So uh, vitamin E uh, is uh, it is anti-inflammatory uh, effects. Again, as I said, antioxidant and it is a neuroprotection effect, right? So uh, some people believe that um, vitamin E can be used in management of Alzheimer's disease, right? So uh, the studies are still ongoing, right? So it's just a theory, right? Um, okay, so what happens if there is a deficiency in vitamin E, right? So the person who have hemolytic anemia, acanthocytosis, muscle weakness, demyelination of posterior columns. This will decrease proprioception and vibration sensation. This will decrease. And also there will be spinocerebellar tract uh, disorders like ataxia. Right. So, um, you know, just uh, a tip. Neurologic presentation may appear similar to vitamin B12 deficiency, but in this case, there will not be a megaloblastic anemia, hypersegmented neutrophils, or increased serum methylmalonic acid levels, right? So if a patient has um, vitamin B12, he, present, he or she may present with neurological, um, neurological symptoms. Right. So the neurological symptoms are same as in vitamin E, but in a patient with the vitamin B12 deficient, that person who have a megaloblastic anemia, hypersegmented neutrophils, and increased serum methylmalonic acid. We will talk about vitamin B12 in a separate video, but now you already know some of the uh, things to uh, watch out for. Right. Okay. Uh, toxicity, right? So as you know, uh, fat soluble uh, vitamins are like because they, they they accumulate in fat. They are they are, they are usually the ones that cause uh, toxicity, right? But uh, yeah, vitamin E is is rare, right? But if there is that toxicity, there will be uh, increase the risk of enterocolitis in infants. High dose supplementation may alter metabolism of vitamin K leading to enhanced anticoagulation effects of warfarin. Right, so uh, these are some of the side effects uh, of this toxicity, right? Headache, fatigue, nausea, uh, diplopia, double vision, muscle weakness, um, creatinuria, creatin in the urine, gastrointestinal distress, right? Okay, so to review everything, right, so... Uh, these are the uh, symptoms if there is deficiency, right? So Alzheimer's disease, I mentioned it. Uh, muscle weakness, kidney problem, poor vision, uh, infertility, right? This is very important. Vitamin E sometimes is e taken as a supplement uh, to improve fertility in males usually, right? So fertility problems, uh, heart diseases, hair and skin problems right so these are the signs or symptoms of uh, vitamin e deficiency right and toxicity one more time headache fatigue nausea 
double vision, muscular weakness, uh, creatinuria, and gastrointestinal distress. That's all about vitamin E. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.